it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. Do you want the look of RGB stars, but all you have is narrow band data? That's okay, because there's an amazing script out there by SETI Astro that gives your narrow band stars that RGB look that you're after. And today, we're gonna learn how to use that. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Now let's jump on in and learn how to give our narrow band stars that RGB look. If you're looking for that RGB star look in your image, but all you have is narrowband data, then this tutorial's for you. We're going to be using IC5070 as our example for this tutorial today, and I even have the RGB stars that we used in the tutorial where we did narrowband nebula with natural RGB stars. So here I have our HA03 and S2 images. Now these images have already been star aligned and they've already been cropped and they've already had the initial star correction done on them as well as background extraction. Where this workflow is gonna differ is we're gonna actually run the entire blur exterminator process on each of these images. And then we're gonna do noise reduction using noise exterminator and then we're going to extract the stars from each of these images. So since these images are already in grayscale, we do not have to extract the luminance. All that we're going to do here is we're going to go to script. We're going to go to image analysis and we're going to go to full width half max eccentricity or FWHM eccentricity. We'll click measure to get the median full width half max and we'll do this for each channel and run the full blur exterminator. So here, S2 has a median full width half max of 4.819. So this is going to round to 4.82. We're going to open up process, all processes, and we're going to go to blur exterminator. We're going to ensure that correct only is unchecked, as well as automatic PSF. Leaving automatic PSF unchecked allows you to enter in a PSF diameter and this is where we're going to put in 4.82. We'll go ahead and triangle, drag and drop. So now S2 has the full blur exterminator effect and the stars are 100% corrected. We're going to go ahead and do the same for O3 and HA. And now HA03 and S2 have the full blur exterminator process ran on them. Now we're gonna go ahead and exit out of blur exterminator. We'll go to process all processes and we'll go to noise exterminator. Now I like to run noise exterminator after blur exterminator because blur exterminator does a little bit of non-stellar sharpening and I wanna take advantage of that uh, when you reduce noise, it smooths out the image. So I'd rather get that little bit of sharpening that Blur Exterminator does before it goes too smooth. So what we're going to do is we're going to run Noise Exterminator on all of these channels. Here, HA doesn't have too, too much noise. So I'm going to do a low value on the denoise setting. We'll run Noise Exterminator on O3. This one has a little bit more noise and that's somewhat normal for O3. And finally, we'll run Noise Exterminator on S2. Next, we'll exit out of Noise Exterminator We'll go to process all processes and we're going to go to star exterminator. Make sure generate star image and unscreen stars is checked. Triangle, drag and drop. So now we have our S2 stars. Place those off to the side. And we'll remove the stars from O3 and HA.
Now that we have our stars removed from HA03 and S2, it's time to move on to the next step. Let's close out of Star Exterminator, and we're going to go to Script, SETI Astro, and we're going to go into Narrowband to RGB Star Combination. And this is where the magic happens. Here, this script is extremely easy to use. You will have an HA star image, an O3 star image, and in this case, we have an S2 star image as well, but S2 is optional. Since we have all three, we're going to input them in. For HA star image, we're going to put HA stars. For O3 star image, we're going to put O3 stars. And for S2 star image, we're going to put S2 stars. We're going to check apply star stretch. And I'm going to leave these as default. This is the same settings that uh, SETI Astro has for star stretch. We're going to go ahead and execute. And there you have it. You have narrow band to RGB stars. So it took our narrow band data and, and gave it the RGB look that we're looking for. And realistically, that was just a couple of extra steps from our normal workflow. And to compare, here we have our RGB stars that we took with our narrow band data for IC5070. And here's the stars made from the narrow band HA03 and S2 converted into RGB. And from here, you would just work your, your workflow like you normally would. So I hope you found this useful. And if you did and want to help support the channel, check out that join button and consider becoming a Hidden Light Photography member. There's lots of perks in it for you and your support really helps me create more useful tips and tutorials. Also, do me a favor, that channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Drop a comment in the comment section. What questions do you have? Did you learn anything new? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.